And he's Bill Dagger with AccuWeather joining us this morning, talking about this storm that has come to our area and, well, all across Pennsylvania, not just Western PA. Bill, good morning. Hey, good morning. It's good to have you with us. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Bill, we really focus a lot on snowfall amounts in particular areas, but that's not everything that you have to be concerned with with a snowstorm, is it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we did see anywhere between, it looks like, 6 to 10 inches of snow on average across the area, but it's still coming down right now, and there's you know a bunch of hazards to talk about here for today, the first being kind of the heavy, wet nature of the snow. So be very careful when you're uh, out and about later today removing the snow, especially if you're shoveling. Um, it's certainly a little, a little on the heavier side, and it's going to stay below freezing all day for today as well. So those roads, uh, you know, are still going to be in rough shape in some areas even after the snow ends into tonight. Yeah, one of our big deals around here in Indiana County as well is drifting snow, and if mm-hmm. the winds kick up like they're supposed to, that yeah. could be a problem. Yeah, we did see that when it started yesterday and kind of seeing that again here within the last hour or two, the wind's really picking up. So there will be a little bit of blowing of the snow today as well. Um, That uh, is also a hazard if you're out in the roads. It could reduce the visibility briefly. You can see the the snow, you know, blow over the roads that might might have been cleaned off already as well. So, yeah, the wind is something uh, we're also concerned about into tonight. Has the timeline of this storm changed at all since the beginning? You know what? It's been fairly fairly well behaved. It arrived yesterday afternoon, as expected. Uh, we did see a little bit of a mix as well during the overnight hours, some sleet and freezing rain, and and we did expect it to kind of taper off during the day today. And that's what's happening right now. Now, again, it's still snowing out there. Visibility is still low, and there still could be a few more bursts to come through here this morning. But additional accumulations, probably just an inch, maybe two, I think, in most areas, and then the accumulations are done. I think after lunchtime. Okay, well, that's that's good news uh, as people then can begin to shovel out and, and not have to fear that they're going to have to do it again. I understand it's going to get really, really cold toward the end of the week, too. It, it will, yeah. So we're going to have a brief warm-up uh, Wednesday, probably near 40, but then a cold front moves through, and we're in the teens for high temperatures both Thursday and Friday. So probably see we'll see some melting of the snow Wednesday, kind of making it a little more wet. And then it drops quickly below freezing, stays there for the rest of the week. And the weekend kind of makes the snow a little harder and more crusty, kind of turns it into a glacier, uh, you know, the snowpack uh, later in the week. But uh, you're right. It will get very cold to close out our week. Yeah. Yeah, I was hearing or seeing on TV over the weekend, uh, one of the Pittsburgh TV stations had this graphic up that said that a snowfall in the 12-inch range, which at 10 inches, uh, it might be 12 in some areas, uh, happens once every 14 years or so in our area and uh, in the 15 inch range and they kept going up uh, mm-hmm. the, it, it it's not all that common to get snow that's this heavy all at once is it yeah yeah to get in double digit territory you're talking about once every few winters uh you know looking at snowfall totals that high and then even more as you get above a foot and 15 inches uh getting above 20 inches we're talking about almost once and a generation a type event, but uh, we're not to that level, but uh, certainly this will be one to, to to make us work as we're cleaning it up this afternoon and evening with uh, many places getting into the double digits. Yeah, absolutely. Well, long range, do you see uh, any forecast pattern that's going to predict this winter's going to hold on any longer since it took so long to get here? You know, what we're, we're in the climatological heart of winter and mother nature is is providing here i think uh, the cold is here this day or, or for the most part we'll have these brief warm-ups like we see wednesday but on average the colder and below normal temperatures is here for the rest of this week and the rest of next week and maybe we can see a little warm-up uh, the first or second week of february but uh, I, I think uh, i think we'll get the heart of our snow the heart of our cold air here over the next few weeks and uh, we've had the snow already We've had some cold, and we got more cold ahead for later this week. And I, can, I would not rule out a, you know, a couple more opportunities for some snow uh, for the rest of the month. He is Bill Degger, AccuWeather. Hey, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Yeah, not a problem. Have a good day. You too. We'll see you. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160 and 